there is another side of being an owner of the house. Marco Sata. There is another life. Follow me very carefully. If you are here, you are broke. That is just one side. You know people, a lot of people, they will see you like this and conclude you. They will see you and conclude your life on one side. Because you are begging today, they doesn't know what God has for you tomorrow. That's why I'm saying there is another side of life. If they conclude you on the life that you are living today, they need to understand that there is another side of life. There is another side of life. They will see you poor today. You are begging. But they need to understand that there is another life, side of life of being rich. That's why I came to tell you there is another side of life. Marco Sakatalaba. If you are under the sound of my voice, you are poor. People have called you names. People have compared you with things that you were never expected. People have rejected you. That is just one side of life. But I came to tell you there is another side of life you need to understand. That is just one side. But there is another side of prosperity. There is another side of prosperity. People have separated from you because of your sickness, because of the situation of your heart, because of the season that you are in. I came to encourage you today that there is another side of life. Marco Sakatalaba. Some of you, you have gone through disappointments. You have gone through disappointments. But I have to tell you, Marco Sakata, there is another side of appointments. If they disappoint you, just know that there is another side. One day, and the day is now, there is another side of appointment. Marco Sakata. You are going through disgrace. That is just one side of life. That is another side of life where God moves you from disgrace to grace. And I came to prophesy to one, two, three, four, five people that God is moving you from disgrace to grace. God is moving you from disgrace to grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Marco Sakatalaba, I hear God telling me some are going through triumph, but that is just one side of life. But there is another side of life. God is telling me there are some people going through trials. That is just one side of life, but there is another side of life. There is another side of triumph. You must triumph in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going through a side of breakdown. That is just one side. There is another side of triumph. You have been a victim. That is just one side. There is another side of life. There is another side of moving forward. There is another side of trial of being victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. And I stand as a prophet. As I see, I'm wearing a prophetic mantle. And I'm standing as a prophet. I prophesy to you that God is taking you to another side. God is taking you to another side. Never conclude on one side when there is another side. You are crossing over not by power, not by might, by the Spirit, says the Lord. Ah, I see somebody crossing over uh, from employer uh, to employee, uh, from matato uh, to your own car. I can hear God telling me, you are an international, you are global. May God cross you over on the other side in the name of Jesus Christ. 
stones. Jesus is with you. Jesus is with you. In spite of stones in your life, in spite of stones in your family, in spite of stones in your finances, in spite of stones in your business, in spite of stones in your career, in spite of stones in your business, in spite of the stones in your job. Oh, my God. I came to tell you, don't die in storm. Stay alive, no matter what we go through. We are not in crisis, but we are in Christ. I came to tell somebody, we are not in crisis, we are in Christ. Storms will not kill us. The Bible says, the one that is in us, the one that is in you, a child of destiny listen to me. He is greater than the one that is in the world. So you cannot die in strong. You are not in, you are not alone. You are with Jesus. No matter what you are going through, as I've said, you are not in crisis, but you are in Christ. That means that Christ is in you. That is, means that Christ is with you. In spite of storms in your life, I see you crossing over to the other side. I see you crossing over to the other side. Storms cannot hinder you. You cross over. Ah, it may be a storm over, but it cannot hinder you cross over. Ah, come on, listen to me. Storms can be there. Barriers can be there. Mountains can be there. But they cannot stop you. They cannot stop you to cross over. But they can just be a storm of us. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. Frantically, they woke him up, shouted, Peter, don't you even care that we are going to die? Marco Sakata. I love that that verse. They both rapa kapakata mago sakata. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. Frantically, they woke him up, shouting, "Teacher!" Don't you even care that we are going to drown? That we are going to drown. Marco Sakatalaba. Let me give you another version here. Marazalabalaba. So that you can understand. Merizika Alandi. So Kotalabalaba. And Jesus was seated in the sky, head on a pillow, sleeping. They rose and said, Teacher, is it nothing to you that we are going down? Listen to me, child of this. Verse 38. The disciples saw that they are going to die. The disciples saw that. They have preached. I love this. Marco Sakatalaba. I bring back the version that he was there, please. Makalaba laba laba laba. Zikam de Zakaria. But he was in the stand, asleep, the cushion, on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care if we perish? The disciples knew that they are going to die because the disciples have seen death with the eyes. Because stones were too much, stones were too heavy for them, stones were too heavy. They thought that we are going to die in 
the sport. They told that you are going to die in the sport. They told that sickness is going to kill you. They told that Marco Sakatalaba, shame is going to kill you. They told that frustration is going to kill you. They told that uh, uh, disparagement is going to kill you. Maro Sikata, they told that disappointment will kill you. But I came to tell you, I came to tell you, child of destiny, some, uh, some of you are like, God doesn't care about what I'm going through. Because the disciples went and asked him a question, don't you care that we are perishing? Don't you care, teacher? Do you not care if we perish? Another version says, don't you care if we go and we travel? Another version says, don't you care that we are dying? Listen to me, child of destiny. Some of you, you are like God. Don't you care that we are perishing? God, don't you care that we are going through this punishment? But I came with the good news. I came to announce to you, I, your time of crossing over is now. And you are crossing over in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Discouragement is not a respecter of a person. Listen. Discouragement is not a respecter of a person. Imagine this part. The disciples, they saw Jesus walk on water. The disciples saw Jesus raised the dead. The disciples saw Jesus was blind food. Oh my God. The disciples saw all the miracle. Jesus opened deaf ears. Jesus opened blind eyes. But they still were wondering. Oh my God, Marcos Rafa Taraban 
happen. You will not die in the storm. You will not die in your problem. Why? Because you have put your trust in God. A time will come when you try to look Jesus in the storm, but you cannot see him. You have been in a place where you trust. You try to pray. You are like God. Where are you? You are like
shut up in your mind. God is about to arise and to rebuke what, uh, what the pain that you are undergoing. God is about to arise and to rebuke this courage. This grace, God is about uh, to arise. I don't know what that you need go to arise and rebuke. Uh, listen to me, Tal of Jesus. Is there anything that is too hard for God? No, there is nothing that is too hard for our God. Everything is possible with God. Everything is possible with God. Whatever that you are going through, God, I hear God is telling me that He is making is taking you and crossing you over on your other side. The other side of celebration. Oh Marcos I can see five people of God taking them on the other side of joy, another side of peace, another side of progress, another side of tenderness, another side of control. I can see God taking Marcos Sakata, Marosika Talabande, Loko Sakata, Lika Sakata. It is your season to cross over. It is your season to cross over. It is your season to cross over. No matter the storm, how great and big the storm might be, no matter how, and the, 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 no matter how the mountain, how big and how tall it is, but that is just a stop over. That one cannot stop you to cross over. It is your time to cross over. It is your time to cross over. It is In the name of Jesus Christ. Just in one minute, I mention what you want God to rebuke in your life today. Just mention wherever you are. Tell God, God, this is what I want you to rebuke in my life. Just in one minute. In the name of Jesus Christ. Marco Sakatalaba. Loko Sakatayande Ribalabalaba. Kosa Tenedele. Koli Kande. Ribalabalabalaba. Marco Setenedele. Lebele Geneve Kosa Katayande. Lebele Kosi Kataya Loko Sibayande. Labalabalabalaba. Lord, as they mention what to rebuke him, rebuke it, O oh God. Lord, I pray, calm every storm in their lives. Calm every storm in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless your name and we give you praise and hope. In the Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate you uh, for tuning in and for being here. May God bless you so much. And may God do you good. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you and may God protect you. Mine is just to tell you.